Hello everyone, welcome to Gurukul Agri. So today we are going to discuss about an important topic which is propagation with respect to a particular crop which is called mango. So today we will be discussing about propagation in mango. So before starting it, let just, uh, I just want to, uh, you know, put a focus on uh, mango, that mango is a very important fruit crop in horticulture and as it is known as a king of fruit. Mango basically uh, has a huge importance in terms of production, in terms of area, in terms of uh, a very important horticulture crop which has a huge area in India. It is grown in southern and northern region as well. The importance of mango in international level and national level is very much in India as well as out of India also. There are several varieties which basically exported from India to uh, various countries. Okay. Now today we will be talking about the propagation method as the uh, vegetative mode of propagation is basically done in mango. So here are few vegetative mode of propagation which is uh, basically usually practiced, uh, practiced in mango. There are uh, several grafting uh, methods and grafting. There are in arcing grafting, linear grafting, apicotile grafting and soft food grafting also. Okay, so first we will be uh, knowing then what is grafting. Grafting is basically joining sign and root stock combining them together and then growing them in a, in a whole new plant. How it basically done? So basically we have rootstock from the different plant, the sign from the different plant. The upper portion is called sign, which basically generates the shoot system. The root stock is basically which contains the root that is called rootstock. We combine both of them, we form the union here and then it is grow as an whole plant. For example, we want some qualities from the sign, uh, this uh, part, sign which is taken from the another variety, rootstock which is taken from the another variety. For example, we want some uh, specific character from this uh, plant. So we'll uh, take a sign from this plant, we'll take a rootstock from that plant in which we want to induce those characters. So we'll combine these varieties and the next variety which will be generated from this will have the, the all those characters which we want. That is called grafting, vegetative mode of propagation. Now, in terms of um, mango, what methods are used? As I told you, inocking, veneer, epicotyl, these are kinds of grafting are used and it is used as per the requirement, as per the area. Okay, when it comes to inocking grafting, inocking in 95% success rate, it is basically used for rejuvenating the orchard. Okay, it is also used uh, as an... Uh, grafting to rejuvenate any bark which is damaged in the plant, any patch which is damaged in the plant. So we use it to rejuvenate also. Okay, linear grafting or we call it side grafting. What we do in the side grafting, it is for example, this is a plant. We will uh, basically put a cut here and we'll insert the sign here in the cut and then it will grow in the into a new plant. Okay, that's why it is called side grafting. You can see in the uh, this picture, this is basically taken the side picture. Okay, what we do is this is the main branch. We insert the sign here. Okay, and then it is combined with the rootstock that is called linear grafting. Now, when it comes to apicotile grafting, you can see in the image, this is the apicotile or the another name for this grafting is stone grafting. So stone grafting in stone grafting, stone is attached. Okay, and the time basically the seedling which is taken is 8 to 15 days after germination. Now, this situation can be asked. Then in apicotile grafting, uh, how many days seedling we take for the grafting? It is around 8 to 5 days after germination, we take the seedling with attached with the seeds seed which is a stone okay you can see that this is a rootstock this is a sign we combine it and then we grow it okay and when it's combined then it is basically planted in the desirable places also apicotile grafting is basically practiced in the Konkan region of Maharashtra okay these kind of questions also ask that where uh, this particular method of uh, vegetative mode is basically practiced or these kind of questions are usually in uh, competitive exams Success rate, sometimes it is also asked for for this uh, apicotile grafting, the success rate is around 75 to 80%. Next method is softwood grafting. Now in softwood grafting, uh, the seedling should be 8 to 10 months old. Okay, and the best time for it is June to, sorry, July to August is the best month for the softwood grafting. There is another term, hardwood grafting is basically, hardwood grafting is practiced in other uh, several uh, horticulture crop. For example, in grey, hardwood grafting is practiced, but the difference between softwood and hardwood is uh, the 8 to 10 months, here 8 to 10 months uh, old seedling is taken and in hardwood grafting there is one year old branch is basically selected or the seedling or uh, whatever the branch or the plant is selected for the grafting. So this is, uh, this is it about the vegetative mode of propagation in mango. Okay, in the next we will be discussing some other interesting facts. Till then, uh, keep studying guys and thank you so much.